Nowadays, it seems that everyone has some sort of Apple device, whether it's an iPod, an iPhone, an iPad, or even a Mac. This has resulted in Apple becoming the most valuable company in the world. Well, how did they get there? Over the last 10 years, they've been putting in place several pieces to build an ecosystem where customers can get everything they need in one place. Today, we're talking with Get Connected's tech expert, Graham Williams. Graham, a lot of companies are trying to replicate what Apple is doing. What is it that they're doing so well? Well, there are three things that Apple's doing differently than a lot of companies. The first is the consolidation of hardware and software design. The second is a smart content strategy. And thirdly, they've got a smart system for syncing the two together through the cloud. Okay, well, let's start with the first point that you mentioned. A lot of manufacturers specialize in, in building hardware, or some companies specialize in building software, whereas Apple is doing both. That's right. One of the things that's at the core of Apple's strategy is designing both the hardware and software together. So when you buy a Mac, say a MacBook Air or an iMac, Apple's written the OS X software to go with it. If you buy an iOS device like an iPad, an iPhone, or an iPod Touch, they built iOS to specifically serve those devices. Okay, now let's go to the second point that you mentioned, and that was content. Uh, to get the content, Apple has created online stores. That's right. Starting in 2003, Apple created the iTunes Music Store, which obviously was for buying music. Mm -hmm. Since then, they've expanded that, and the iTunes Music Store has become the iTunes Store, where you can get music, movies, TV shows. But they've also added the iBook Store for buying books, the App Store for buying apps on your iPhone and your iPad, and the Mac App Store for buying software for your computer. Well, Graham, one of the criticisms a lot of people have about Apple is that they have essentially a walled garden system. What, what is that? The walled garden is essentially Apple's way of managing how you get software onto your system or how you control your media. Essentially, you won't be able to watch some types of video on your iPhone or your iPad, but what that does also do is it gives Apple control of what you will see or what, what you will purchase. So you won't see anything like viruses or malware on the iTunes store simply because they've got control of everything that shows up there. It's a great way of keeping everything safe and secure. So we've talked about the hardware, we talked about how they create the software, and we also talked about how they create a store for you to purchase content. The thing I like about it is once you have content, everything just seems to sync so well. That's actually called iCloud, and it's the cornerstone of Apple's strategy going forwards. The idea here is that, let's say you buy a song on your Mac at home. It's going to use the cloud and push that up to your other devices. So you buy it at home, and it's gonna show up on your iPhone or your iPad automatically. Mm -hmm. Now, that's not just a one-way street. Let's say you take a picture with your iPhone. It's going to use PhotoStream to send that back up to the cloud and out again to your iPad or to your iPhoto library at home. Mm -hmm. It's a really cool feature. Syncing is cool, but streaming is even better. And what I mean by that is, let's say I've taken a video with my iPhone and I want to share it with a friend when I go over to their house. If they've got an Apple TV, I can pull out my iPhone, sign into their wireless network, and send the video from my iPhone to their Apple TV so we can watch it on their big screen. Well, just the other day, we were actually snowshoeing, and I know you were filming some stuff. Would you be able to put that up onto the TV right now? Absolutely. So this content that we're looking at right now is actually on your iPhone, and you're streaming it via the Apple TV. That's right, it's connected up through the wireless end network to the Apple TV, which is streaming to the television over HDMI. And it's much better to show it on a TV than off your iPhone. Yeah, hard to get a lot of people gathered on a three inch screen. So it really seems that Apple's success has largely by control. They're controlling the hardware, they're controlling the software, and they're controlling the store for which you can purchase the content. That's right. Now that control may seem a little draconian, but the cool thing is that it gives you a seamless user experience for ordinary people just like you and me. So what's that old saying that Apple always has? Well, I think they say it just works. Yes, it just works. What other kind of videos you got on there? Well, let's take a look. Oh, there's Mike and AJ. <laughs>